Frog eye leaf spot is one of the diseases of soybean that we're seeing more commonly uh, in Nebraska. When we're looking at frog eye leaf spot, you know, really management is going to be important uh, earlier in the season than what we're at now here in this field. We're in a, a later growth stage five, almost at a full seed point. Uh, when we see frog eye leaf spot much earlier, you know, in those flowering stages to that early pod set stage at R4, that's where we're going to really be looking at a situation where we're going to try to decide if we're managing it or not. Uh, this is a disease when you're looking at it leaf spot wise, you're going to see these circular spots with dark purple brown margins. Uh, they're going to be lighter in color in the middle uh, and you're going to see those again kind of contained to that upper, upper area. As far as the plant's susceptibility, as those leaves expand and become mature, uh, those leaves become less susceptible. So that's why we tend to see it in that upper portion of the canopy a little bit later. This disease survives in residue. So uh, once you have it in a field, you know, it's going to be there. So uh, looking at management in the future is going to be an important option for you as you see it start to build up. It's going to be more uh, of a problem in continuous soybean. Uh, it's going to be more of a problem in a no-till situation again because it overwinters in that residue. When we, when we first detect it as far as management, now we're going to want to look at trying to control this earlier in the season. So in this field we're in right now, we're in the later, you know, five stage, almost at, at R6, where we're at full, full seed. And at that point, we're too late to really impose any management or even try to control it. We're not going to see a benefit of that. But if you're in that R3 uh, to early R4, you know, even going into an R5 situation, uh, you know, where you're seeing small seed in those pods just a few nodes down from the top or four nodes, those top four nodes, you know, that's where we're going to want to look at management if you know you have a susceptible variety. Because that's the other key with this when we're looking at management. First, you know, if you have a problem with frog eye leaf spot, select a resistant variety first. And then the next step would be, you know, if you're having problems to use fungicides or if you choose to, to produce a very aggressive soybean variety that's a high yielder, it may need to be sprayed in years where you see more frog eye leaf spot.